Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just here to report a quick article from the, zero, from the Zero Hedge. It says, Corn shortage strikes Walmart. Customers required to pay with card at self checkouts all right so with that being said you can clearly see that this place america right also known as babylon the great is on is on its way to a cashless society and it's moving fast it says coin shortage strikes walmart customers required to pay with the card at self checkouts so you can say that you know, they're using this scapegoat, a coin shortage, due to the fact of C-19, which we understand that really C-19 is nothing but a covert operation and an agenda being pushed by the elites, starting with the Rothschilds, which is the House of Esau, being forced, you know, what they call their new world order, being forced upon the people here in the world. And right here in Babylon, they're gradually, uh, I wouldn't say... Yeah, slowly but surely, all right, forcing everyone to change the way that they live. And in particular, the way that they buy and the way that they sell. So it says, corn shortage strikes Walmart. Customers required to pay with card at self-checkouts. All right, so they're saying that it's a corn shortage. And this corn shortage is due to the fact of C-19. All right, so let's read a little bit here. And uh, what comes to mind is scriptures, which is the mark of the beast. All right, Revelations 13, 16, on and down. He calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand. All right, so let's read. It says, a nationwide, co nationwide corn shortage is hitting major retailer across the U.S. Walmart is the latest retailer and the largest to announce customers must use credit and debit cards when making purchases. So you see... So for all you guys out there that think that the mark of the beast is not the RFID microchip, here's another report, okay? Here's some more uh, evidence, okay, that you can clearly see that um, this place is heading into a cashless society. And the only way to buy and sell will be if you had that mark, man. So let's read that again. A nationwide corn shortage is hitting major retailers across the U.S., Walmart is the latest retailer and the largest to announce customers must use credit or debit cards when making purchases. All right. This place is becoming a digital society. Everything digital. So it says like most retailers, we're experiencing the effects of the nationwide corn shortage. Walmart spokesperson uh, Avana. Ivana, if I'm saying that right, told uh, Fox 8, we're asking customers to pay with card or use correct, correct change when possible if they need to pay with cash. All right. And Walmart is, a, a, you know, one of the biggest consuming stores, you know, nationwide. All right. Especially here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. So the signs that you would see will be uh, right here. It says, we are sorry for the inconvenience. There is a nationwide coin shortage. All self-checkouts are cards only. <laughs> so it says, cash paying customers are still welcome at all stores. Those self-checkout registers will only allow customers to pay with a card. All right, so you could say this is going to be your new norm. All right, because eventually you give it time. All right. No one is going to be using coins anymore. You know, they're saying that the coins is contagious. All right. Just like there was a reports months back when we was on lockdown and quarantine. I believe China even made a state made a, a, a report about how their money uh, can spread to C-19, which is all bullshit. All right. So it says Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell recently said virus related lockdowns raised concerns about coin circulation he told ap that the flow of funds 
uh, through the economy stopped due to closure in the economy. Walmart was not sure how long to ban, how long the ban on the money as self checkout registers would last, considering it's a nationwide issue. We've noted a handful of retailers so far that have been that have banned cash slash coins. You got including Kroger. Uh, uh, let's see. All right. It says Walmart was not sure how long the ban on money as self checkout registers would last, considering it's a nationwide issue. It says we've noted a handful of retailers so far that have banned cash slash coins, including Kroger, Meyer, Dollar Tree, and YY. All right, so, hey, come into your neighborhood, man, to your local bodega, corner stores. You're going to have it to the point where coins and cash is going to be uh, banned. You see? We noted a handful of retailers so far that have banned cash slash coins including Kroger, Maya, Dollar Tree, and Wawa. All right. Now I know about Dollar Tree and Wawa. Now it says Twitter users users seem to think the pandemic was a cover by elites to push a cat society, <laughs> and that's true, you know. But let's see what they say. Anyone else notice the post Corona? It says the cashless society is now almost completely in place, with barely. A whimper of dissent so yeah man and and that's the truth man you know this was uh, been talked about a cat society for many years you know you got uh, uh, Jake that that have known about the cat society the RFID microchip you know since the 90s and the 80s man all right our elders apostles here at Great Millstone been teaching since the, the uh, 80s man the 70s all right and their elders okay since Alvin Bivens came back on the scene, man, which we believe is Elijah, okay, coming back to fulfill prophecy, as is written, you know. So that's basically the point. I'm not gonna read these, but you know, you can see, you can see, due to nationwide coin shortage, this self checkout has been placed on placed on credit slash debit mode only. All right. So the gradualism, all right, for the cashless digital society not using coins or federal reserve note is on the rise man all right and the next thing is going to be a force of the rfid microchip and like i said you know the scripture that come in mind it should come in mind is the mark of the beast all right because the mark of the beast is is a technology device okay it's it's a, a rfid microchip that is incision inserted all right underneath the skin okay and all you got to do is go into that and you can see plenty of videos backing it. Not only that, it's a new form of identity. All right. It's going to be your new form of identity. All right. It's going to be your new form of driver's license, your new form of, you know, um, how you register and show identity, identity, you know, when you when needed. All right. Not only that, it's also a, a miracle uh, device that uh, heals the lame. It heals the lame. All right. Men who women who can't walk. All right. It also is a is a device that hijacks the brain waves to to uh, attack your nervous system, you know, to send off signals to your nerves, you know, so that, you know, you can do things that a normal person couldn't do. You know, it can help paraplegics. You just go right into it, man. You know, so I just wanted to make a report, quick report. I hope this lesson is edifying. It's just a quick report on um, on the cashless society, Walmart's uh, a coin shortage strike, Walmart. And uh, down here, not on, not just Walmart, but you have stores like Kroger, Maya, Dollar Tree, and Wawa. All right, so this is this is gonna be a new norm. All right, um, you know it makes perfect sense why uh, Revelations twelve and twelve says uh, he cometh down having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Why do he have but a short time? All right, because he has to force this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, you can see that America, all right, is behind China, is behind in technology. The people here in Babylon, a.k.a. America, are stubborn and they're stuck in the ways, all right, of their old world. So this is the place 
all right, where it's going to be the hardest for these elites to force these RFID microchips, the mark of the beast. You know, not only that, but this place is is um, that kingdom, all right, that uh, the Most High set up, all right, and and, and basically the the uh, bulk of the Israelites. This is where the so-called Negroes, all right, and uh, what you call the so-called uh, uh, blacks in America were pushed, you know, or sold on auction blocks, man. All right, so the boatload of the Israelites are here. And this is also going to be that great deliverance. So, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his words to city and truth. Shalom.